What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Final Fantasy XIV Online and I am super excited to continue this. It's been actually, I hate to admit this, it's been a day but since I've been on this, like, like two days ago is when I played this and recorded that video that you saw yesterday, but uh, we are back. So this is going to take a lot to get used to, but I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. It's a sprint. Let's see. It's a sprint. Ooh, there we go. Oh, there's a cooldown on the sprint. I have to figure out how to read the map better. <clears throat> I think I, I, I got it, kind of. But uh, it's good. everything, everything, like anything, is going to take a little while to get used to. So I need to target that. I... Oh, here we go. Oh, it was it? Okay. It, okay. Let me stop. Stop clicking buttons, Nick. Just let it go. We got to attune ourselves. You attune to the Aetherite. Nice. Hail, adventurer. Might you have come at the behest of Miss Momodi of the Quicksand? Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That will be 100,000 gil if you please, madam. <laughs> Apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to make that jest. The look on your face was absolutely priceless. Ah, but the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of aetherites. Allow me to explain. These crystalline agglomerations tap into ethereal energies and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Uh, perchance you have heard of return and teleport. Well, these... Okay, here we go. So this is how you fast travel. Well, these transportation spells make direct use of aetherites and their connection to the flow of aether. Given that there is an aetherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, Eorzea, or Orza, it's probably really easy. I think it's Orza. I think the E is probably silent. I bet it's Orza. Any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune herself to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's border, it would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any Aetherites you encounter from now on. I pray you found that informative. Should you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I should be happy to answer your questions. R return learned. So I'm assuming that's just teleport back. You attune with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. I assume that's just teleporting back to the last one you rested at, but that's... I'm assuming things that I probably shouldn't. Yeah, so I'm assuming return returns you to your home point, but we'll, fi we'll check here. The spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Aetherite. Set as your home point, casting... Yeah. yeah, it can only be cast every 15 seconds. Only one home point may be set at any time to make the Aetherite your new home. Okay, so we did that. So yeah, I was correct. That's tr that'll travel you back to this hub area. It's cool. We got other people here. We got people with cooler armor than I have. Alright. I'm excited to start... Oh, so you just hit the D-pad and you can start customizing. And then, like, if I hit X... Select a slot to edit it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna, I have to do that later, figure that out later. So I'm assuming exclamation point symbol quest. I oh, know, this is a guild. The merchant is visibly perturbed and in need of assistance. No, this is a quest. Let's accept it. Tell me, what brings you here, friend? Hmm, looking for a bit of work? Perhaps, some small job to add a little weight to that coin purse of yours, hmm? Well, you're in luck. The Pugilists have just placed an order with me for several of the leather gloves and harnesses they use for sparring. The traders are cruel, cruel, for I find myself lacking the hides required. Would that I with would that I had the pelts of a few snapping shoes? What say you, friend? Hmm. Care to help a merchant down on his luck? Hmm. Bring me five snapping shrew pelts, and I promise to make it worth your while. You can find the creatures roaming central Thalin. Thanalin. Thanalin. 
I should probably accept all of these quests. There's a few here. I know Black Desert had a limit on the ones you could accept. I don't know quite if there's ones here. The good thing about this is you can clearly tell main quest, side quest, main quest, side quest. That's all I'm asking, ESO. That's all I'm asking. Quest is not available yet. That's a level 50? Level 50. Get out of here. What are you? Level 15? Okay, I'm just gonna... I can... T oh, you can tell on the map. Okay, that's cool. You can tell on the map which ones are locked and which ones aren't. But let's continue. We need to head over here. Can I take that cursor off my screen? Oh, yeah, I can. I can move it off this side. And then... Uh, I want to put it somewhere while I remember it's there. Let's put it down here. Next to our coins. Because then I'll always know. I'll be able to look down there. That's where my cursor is. So here's an Aethernet shard. Let's just check this out. Ooh, we can attune to this. So we can set this as home, I guess. You now have access to Aethernet. Quick travel throughout the city can be achieved by simply placing your hand upon Aethernet shards. Oh, that's cool. I believe accepting that quest set it as my active, which is not what I want. So we want to set... We want to set this as our... Hold on. Okay, we already know that. How do I set... Okay, there we go. I can mark it. Okay, there we go. And then I can hide quests. That's cool. You can hide quests by coming in here. Okay, that's really sweet. But I want that one at the top. And so happens that one of our objectives is right in here. Hello, guild receptionist. Welcome to the Thermaturge or Thaumaturge's Guild. It is fate that has guided your steps here this day, friend. I see that you harbor arcane ambitions, though your journey has scarcely begun. Within these hollowed halls, the arts of devastation are taught. Primeval magics with much which, which to bring about an enemy's ruin. If you would join our ranks and wield such power, you must need you must needs know of our beginnings. The nation of Olda inherited its traditions from ancient Belladia, a city founded by the descendants of the first mages. The secrets of these illustrious sorcerers were ultimately entrusted to the priests of the Order of Nalthal, who have passed them down from generations to generation ever since. Focused and refined over centuries of use in the Order's funeral rites, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually emerged as the art we now know as Thaumaturgy. A freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse, a bolt of lightning to expel the sun's the sins of mortal life. Uh, the Dwamers or Dwemers employed in the preparation of the dead are equally a fish efficacious when applied to the living. It is for this reason that we are feared and respected in equal measure. Thus does our guild thrive. In scones in these some of these words are too big for me, man. In sconced in the catacombs of Arzenith Ossuary, a sanctuary devoted to Thal, divine arbiter of the afterlife. These words, man. Maybe I need I we need to be like a a smarter college student than I am. What say you then, adventure? <clears throat> if you would plumb the abyssal depths of Thaumaturgy, let our legend sages guide your d descent. Ah, but before you leap into the darkness, you must prove to our guild masters that you are possessed of the spiritual fortitude necessary to look upon that which waits therein. When you are ready to submit to the judgment of our most eminent mages, say the word. <clears throat> Alright. I feel like we should get into this. Well, adventurer, will you join our guild, or do you presume to ignore the urgings of impatient density? Ah, oh, no, I'm in. I'm in. A wise decision indeed. To prepare for your initiation, I would have you study the volumes of fundamental thaumaturgical principle, all 108 of them. Or at least I would if such requirements had not been abolished. Too great a deterrent to fresh novices, they said. I suppose you shall just have to settle for calling upon the collective wisdom of our guildmasters. We have five, you see, all brothers of the same house. 
Though they all wield supreme authority, it is the eldest who provides a singular voice for the guild when one is required. Master Ko Kokobi? Kokobaigo, I believe. Alright, so I need to speak to Kokobaigo. There's another quest available right here from Erasmus. Erasmus of the Thaumaturge's Guild is preoccupied with his studies, but his brow is furrowed in a way that cries out for help. I am Erasmus of the Order of Nalthal, and I am charged with studying the anatomy of this region, fauna, and the environs in which they dwell. For the dark art of our order is death itself, and power over death can come only through knowledge of life. One day I shall publish my findings in a single, comprehensive volume, The Many Breasts of Thanalan, but there is much work to be done before that day. Aid me, sister. Bring me five bottles of Marmot blood, and perhaps I shall name you a, in a footnote. Marmots are hardy creatures that thrive nigh elsewhere. You will mostly certainly find them just outside the city in the western Thanalan, by the way of the Gate of Sultana. Do take care. They can be feisty little critters when threatened. Okay. I need to go talk to... I need to talk to Coco Baigo. Hello, Coco Baigo. You said Black Desert where you hold Y. <laughs> Who? What? Oh, Thal's teeth? Miss? Did your mother never tell you not to startle a thaumaturge? Look at that expectant face, Coco Baigo. This lady is obviously a new applicant for the guild, seeking audience with our eldest brother. Oh, Prelate Yayake? Prelate Yayaki? She can recite the 307 verses of the funerary rites of the virtuous fallen from memory, but the simple task of keeping our names straight seems ever beyond her grasp. Bwahahaha, <laughs> well, I for one find the constant confusion endlessly entertaining. My apologies, my dear. My merriment was not meant to mock your mistake. It is our sibling Kokobuki with whom you should speak. What's this? What's this? Great Thal has led us to a new aspirant? Ah, Kokobuki, were you here the entire time? Greetings, child. I'm Koki Kokobuki, the eldest and I would venture to say the wisest of the five masters of Thaumaturge's guild. It is my solemn duty to furnish our would-be initiates with a succinct, or succinct understanding of our beloved arts. Thus, I would have your fullest attention. To wield thaumaturgy is to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. The lethal force of our spells far exceeds the destructive capability of any other form of arcane manipulation. Fire, lightning, blizzard, somnolence, the thaumaturge calls upon an expansive arsenal of offensive incantations to incapacitate and obliterate all manner of adversaries. Open your mind to our sorceress teachings, and you too shall soon hold the unparalleled power of our discipline in the palm of your hand. Hmm. 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 Of course, such power has a price. You must be willing to plunge headfirst into the forbidding, or, yeah, forbidding chasm of thaumaturgy secrets. For advancement in this art comes only with the completion of deadly and terrible trials. I ask you now, Aspirin, are you prepared to leap into the business, into the abyss, in pursuit of power unrivaled? Sure. Hmm. 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 A confidence, a confident response. Your name, if you will. Very well, Ragaza. Let us mark your initiation with a trial to test the limits of your aptitude for channeling thaumaturgy. Huge hornets, star marmots, and snapping shrews inhabit this land in abundance. Exercising your sorceress might and slay three of each these creatures before returning to my side. Okay. I can handle that. I need to kill five of two of those anyway, so. Let's head back out and complete the main class. We need to listen to Cesaroga's explanation in the market. Hopefully we're gonna get hopefully this is the last kind of intro episode where we don't do anything I thought we might get into stuff in this episode, but It's a little it's not looking great for that. Um Is there a better way to pull up the map really quickly? There we go. It's, it's B or Square on the ps4 controller um, Okay, hit B twice and you can look around where we need to go to the steps of Thal, and okay, 
So I just need to take any exit, essentially. According to this, it looked like you could take any exit. Yeah, the steps of Thal. The multi-quest stuff in this game is a little... Not multi-quest, but multi-tasks in a quest in this game is a little... I don't know. Feels a little overwhelming. Because they put some of them, like, off the screen and it makes it kind of hard to tell. Like, they put them off the map even. You gotta, like, go to the different sections. It doesn't, like, say, oh, just go here and then it'll take you to the correct area. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Okay. Wait, which one am I... Here we go. Here's Cesaroga. And you are... Ho, oh, a newly come adventurer. But of course, yes, I am Cesaroga. What can I do for you? Ah, you would have me teach you the ways of Marketplace. Very wise. As for my fee, what? You expect me to do it for free? Surely you jest. My dear adventurer, when you ask for... an olden for a favor... You should at least try to make it worth his while. Judging by your garb, I rather doubt you could afford my services, but the fact you no the fact you offer nothing is laughable. Um, can I hand over? There we go. Oh, are we going to get a little cutscene here? Oh, Mistress Mamodi instructed you to seek me out, did she? Hmm. Consider yourself fortunate to have such influential friends. I shall be brief, and you shall be attentive. You stand in the Sapphire Avenue Exchange, the busiest and most profitable marketplace in the Sultanate. Being adv advantageously situated in relation to the other city-states, Olda's markets have ever served as both the literal and figurative centers of Eorzean commerce. All the great overland trade routes lead to our city, and the majority of mar maritime trade between Vilbrand and Aldenard passes through our ports. Because of this, countless companies and consortia have chosen Olda's as their base of operations. They see to it that this marketplace is awash with merchants and money lenders day and night. Anything a man could ever desire can be purchased here, provided he as he has sufficient funds. Surely there's something you seek a venture, a deadlier sword. What did I just do? By it? It, said, it just named off a bunch of stuff that we may want, clothes, etc. To the north, you will find merchants peddling armor and accessories, curatives, and crafting materials. And to the south, you will find weapons, tools, and an assortment of other useful items for sale. Where's the clothes? I need the fashion. Seek out a particular merchant or browse to your heart's content, but do try to remain aloof should you find something that piques your interest. Decisions made in the heat of the moment are usually unwise, especially where coin is concerned. Mm-hmm. That is all the complimentary aid you shall have from me, and far too much for my taste. My regards to Mamodi, Mamodi, now off with you. Okay. Handing over items. We just went over this, but... Some quests will require you to deliver items. If an MPP requires an item, an item request window will appear. Select the items from your inventory or armory chest and press hand over to complete transactions. All right, so what do we got here? Armorer, pot watch, apothecary, trade craft merchant. What do you sell? Oh boy. Shops. Uh, a myriad of items can be bought and sold from vendors all across Eorosia. Purchasing an item is as simple as selecting an item from the shopkeeper's inventory. Well, selling an item is as simple as selecting an item from your inventory. Easy enough. If you happen to have a second thoughts about a sale, you can always buy back. Okay, so they got buy back like most. Uh, purchase gear for level 1 through 9. I wish, can you... I could actually almost afford some of this, but I can't afford it. I wonder what we got over here. Hmm. Collectible Appraiser, Arms Mender, Summoning Bell. Interesting. 
That's how you pull out your weapon, I guess. Okay, so now we need to report to Momodi at the quicksand. So that would require me to know how to get out of here. Um... Okay, we just need to go one of these ways and get out of here. Turn on sprint. The steps of Nald. This game, this game's gonna take a lot to get used to. I feel a little bit overwhelmed with it. I, I feel all right. Oh look, we're, wow, that was easy. We're back here already. Okay, sweet. But um, real quick, I feel a little bit overwhelmed with it. I'm sure eventually here I'll feel perfectly fine. But right now I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, way more overwhelmed than I feel with ESO or Black Desert. I understand I have a lot to learn with Black Desert still, which I think is going to be a fun journey for us all is just me learning the ins and out of MMORPGs because I've never done them before. But uh, let's turn this into Momodi. Actually, while well, I played MMO, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. How was your tour of the city, Ragaza? Get lost, did you? Hey, well, Ulda's a big place with lots to see and do, but wandering around aimlessly don't pay the bills. If you're serious about making a living here, you'll need to remember where things are. So when you go to explore, explore like you've got a purpose, eh? Probably a good idea. Alright then, all that's left is for you to work hard, make money, and spend it here at the quicksand. Complete that. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, she's got the next main quest. We must rebuild. Oh, this is locked. All classes and jobs, excluding limited jobs. So I can't even... I can't even take the main quest yet? Because that... I don't even know if that's main quest. Okay, so... I guess I have to... I have to do these side quests, otherwise... Like, otherwise I can't... I'm a, Yeah, that's the story, that's the main story quest. But I need to go fight... I guess I have to go fight outside? So that... It's a little weird. This is not the way I wanted to go either. Hmm. This is, uh, an interesting... Guess we could go here. Okay. Guess we'll head over there. I have to keep popping my map up. Actually, I guess I can just leave it up. Uh, we want to go this way. And then turn this way. I guess we can grab this first. Attune to the Sapphire Avenue Exchange uh, Aetherite, or Aethernet. Okay. Alright, let's pop that off. We gotta go kill three of each. Of these enemies. I'm sure it won't be too hard to get where we're going, but who, who actually knows? Okay, battle. Probably good to know. Elemental gauge unlocked. What is happening here? Select a slot to edit by pressing the hot button combination. What is happening? Okay, select a target with the directional buttons. Uh, press and, and press and confirm once the target. Press confirm a second time to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Approach and face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows. It's going to be difficult to figure out. Um, see, this is really weird because it won't let me... I guess, hold on. Can I tap on... Yeah, I can tap. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got it selected now. Nice. Okay. Various actions such as spells and weapon skills can be performed by using the cross hot bar on the bottom of your screen. Cross hot bar is only available in controller mode. The action set. The action set to your crossbar. 
uh, can be initiated via the corresponding button combination. Okay, obviously. Most actions require magic points or tactical points to execute, in addition to having recast times of various lengths. Though tactical points and uh, magical points slowly regenerate over time, there... Didn't mean to hit that. There is... What's that here? Um, there exist items and actions which can be used to immediately restore the two. Uh, disciples of magic and disciples of war who specialize in ranged attacks such as archers are best suited fighting their targets from a distance. The range and radius of an action can also be confirmed in the help window. Okay. Oh, I did not want to return. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. I think I think we're good on that. Achievements. Congratulations, you have just received your first achievements. Achievements are rewarded by completing certain milestones during your adventures in Eorzea or Eorzea. And there are achievements for just about everything, from leveling classes and uncovering locations, to defeating enemies and earning gil. There are also rewards granted upon obtaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons and armors, others titles, which could be added to your display name to showcase your greatness. Achievements rewards can be claimed from Jonathus in Old Gridania. Elemental Gauge Unlocked. The Elemental Gauge displays several po different pose. P different, oh my gosh, several different pieces of information vital to black mages. First and foremost, where is that at on my screen? Um, I guess not there yet. Okay, where was I? First and foremost, whether or not they're under the influence of astral fire after casting a fire spell or umbral ice after casting a blizzard spell. All fire spells cast while under the influence of astral fire will have increased potency but will require more MP. This is the same for blizzard spells cast while under the influence of umbral ice. Umbral ice increases the speed. Okay. Okay, I still don't see... I don't see where that is on my screen. I really don't see where that is on my screen. Um... Oh, it's... Okay, it's like grayed out. It's like right... It's right over there, I think. Or right over there. It's right over there, right above my, like, up and right from my character. Okay, let's try out, let's try out a little fighting here. I, uh, I feel like I'm woefully underleveled for this, but here we go. So how do I, okay, so there's how you target. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Wow, that that leveled us up a lot. Okay, um, go off the go away trophy. Go away. In the event multiple solo players attack the same target, the player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience points and items drop. The players who follow will be rewarded based on their contributions. Okay, so you follow a player in need of your hand, do not hesitate to lend it. Binding items. An item you have equipped is now bound to you and can no longer be traded or put in markets. Most items can be sold and traded freely before they are used in battle, crafting, or gathering. This is true regardless of whether or not they have been equipped. However, performing one of these three actions after equipping a new piece of gear will bind the item to you, preventing future trades or sales to other players or NPCs. Okay. Okay. This combat is weird to me, but I kind of like it. You queue stuff up and, and you attack. Pretty, pretty simple. Oh, we unlocked a new attack. Use the, let's use our fire attack. Interesting. We're, hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll check this out now. Okay. Astral Fire and Umbral Ice are special status effects which allow Thaumaturges to continuously deal devastating amounts of damage while still conserving their MP reserve. Casting one of the fire spells gives a Thaumaturge the effect of Astral Fire, which increases the potency and MP cost of further fire spells. At the same time, it lowers the potency and MP cost of Blizzard spells, prevents the natural or spell-assisted gradual restoration of MP. Conversely, casting... I read? Oh, yeah, I did. Conversely, casting one of the Blizzard spells gives the Thaumaturge the effect of Umbral Ice, which increases the speed at which MP naturally recovers. At the same time, it lowers the potency and MP cost of fire spells. 
As the Thaumaturge process progresses in level, the number of Umbral Ice and Astral Fire effects, which can be stacked at any one time, increases. The larger stack, the more powerful the effect. Learning when to switch between Fire and Ice is key to being successful in extended battles. Have to lock on. Okay, so your, your health naturally regenerates over time. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of getting used to, but I, I think I can handle it. We need to slay Snapping Shrews next. Man, I gotta get used to locking onto the targets. Can you... Can I move while I'm... Not, not, eh, not really. You're kind of just fighting. You just gotta kind of take it and fight. Alright, so there's one snapping shrew down. We gotta get to level 4 anyway, so... That's how we're gonna end up this video, is me getting to level 4. We do heal health... All right, not great. That's a level 12 giant tortoise. I have no regard for my life, so I might in fact. I might do the very stupid thing of fighting him. I need to get some MP back if I'm gonna. Let's get to level get to level three and then we might we might just throw my life in the trash can and fight him I, I am just an idiot who likes to all right let's party how much damage do I do to you probably zero okay okay you, you hit you hit a little harder than I expected, but that's all right. Ow, ow. Oh, let the kiting begin. Oh, he hit me from so far away. I made a, I made a grave error. I made a grave error. Okay, good, he gave up, sweet. Okay, so I need to kill Marmots. Where are they at? We killed all the snapping shrews and stuff that we needed. Hello, marmots? Well, I don't see any marmots. It's another giant tortoise. Um, let's see. That's like a world quest. How do you see? Hmm. Where are the... I need to kill another shrew real quick. Wonder where the marmots are. I don't find them now. Okay, so we completed that side quest. As soon as we find marmots, I can complete. I'm assuming they're in a different location. I'm assuming I was told what location they're in, so. Let's see here. Journal. Slay marmots. No, go back. So, we're down here. It looks like maybe up here. Alright, let's go check that out. Can I get the quest thing off my screen? There we go. Okay, it looks like it's just over here. Hopefully the marmots are over here. 
because I'd really like to get this quest, these quests turned in in this video, because I want to check and see how... I think we get a fair amount of XP from turning quests in. Yeah, there we go. There's a star in Marmot. There are level twos. Very interesting combat system. I'm sure there'll be more to it as I get into it. It's just kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of weird to me. You kind of, you just got to kind of stand there and take hits as far as I can tell. I'm sure that it's not that simple. But I don't know, it kind of feels that way. Can I, can I lock? Thank you. Thought I was locked on that whole time. Oh. Man, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. I'm not even thinking about, like, locking on before I do anything. I definitely need to get back. I need, or not back. I need to get used to that. Because it's kind of an awkward thing for me. I, I just don't think about it. Okay. Now we can turn all these quests in. Uh, let's just go back the way we came. And we'll go turn these quests in. Hopefully they'll get us to level 4. I should probably kill some level 4 guys here. Let's go back over here and kill a couple of level 4s. And then we'll go turn these quests in. Normally, I would trust that I'd get there, but I'm not sure, and I don't want to... While I'm out here, I might as well get there. Oops. Back to one. Yeah, it gave about 100 experience. I'm just going to guarantee myself level 4 that's the level I need to be for that one quest from that the main quest I have to be level four so I might as well you know just just be safe guarantee me the level this blizzard attack is not the highest quality attack go almost to 600. I know it's going to have to take a lot to getting used to because I'm used to, you know, let me see how many enemies I can kill. But I'm sure maybe eventually we get into AoE attacks and stuff like that, but for right now... So it's, a, it's an interesting, I think I like it, but it's a really interesting combat system. I guess I should probably not assume that quests give you a fair amount of experience, I don't really know. ESO and uh, Black Desert are kind of the complete opposites when it comes to really rewarding uh, quest turn in. Black Desert doesn't give you much. That's mostly all from grinding. You get almost all of your stuff done from grinding in Black Desert, level wise. And then in ESO, it's like, it's not the opposite, but ESO, you get a lot of experience from turning in quests. guarantee it. I was gonna go early, but I'm like, eh, we probably should just get this done while we can. Just guarantee it, so then we can accept that quest and, and do it in the next episode. <laughs> really? Really, game? It's like the game knows. I'm gonna auto... 
There's a way to auto fight. Um, auto attack. Here you go. You're not auto attacking. It's really weird. It's like auto attacking not the way you want to attack. It's not auto attacking with spells. It's how it should be auto attacking, but whatever. Okay, that should be level four. Okay, that's level four. So we got action, learn, transpose. What is that? Is that like a... I don't know. Um, is there a way to look at actions? Transpose, here we go. Um, swaps Astral Fire with a single Umbral Ice or Umbral Ice with a single... Oh, okay. Sweet. This is kind of interesting. I'm going to have to play like this. So, I'm going to have to hold my this finger over here. Or, no, that's how I want to do it. I'm going to have to hold my hand like this once we start using more skills. Which is alright, but I'm going to have to remember that. Just, which is always a little dicey. Not go, not gonna lie. Me remembering to do things is not always the greatest thing. Okay, I have no idea where my dudes are that I need to turn these quests into. Are I know where one of them are. One of them are. One of them is, but I don't know where the other two are. Hmm. I don't think I took... I didn't take one here. This is the... Yeah, this is the way I need to go back in, I think. I need to do the guild, which is a different way out. But we'll get this all figured out by the end of the episode. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. Just because I, I wanted to get you guys some actual content instead of, you know... You know the bait the, the crap that we'd already done um none of the quests were in here we'll come back to grab that from her actually i'll probably just leave it blank until i do actually come back um okay so there's one quest to turn in there and then okay both the quests are over there okay sweet let's leave this up help me track around the map I like this. It's really nice to be able to just pull up the map and then look around if you need to or just have be able to have it up to help guide you to objectives you're trying to get done. Alright. How are you doing? Back already, are you? Come, let's see what you've brought. I have some pelts for you. Exceptional. These are fine true pelts indeed. Well done, my friend. The Pergolus... The Pugilus Guild is among my largest clients. I fear what would have come to pass had this order been delayed any longer. Take this, um, you've you've more than earned it. Thank you. Oh, I need to choose one. Um uh, I'm gonna take this one. Alright, so how do I equip this? Or is it just auto equipped them onto my character? Um, no, it didn't auto equip because I have 5 out of 10 on. Is it in the armor chest? Ah, yes, here we go. Can I not? Am, am I not the right? Am I not the right class? Did I make a big mistake there? Probably made a mistake there. We have $210 uh, dollars now so that we can actually, we could buy stuff in the market if I wanted to, but I'm going to hold on to my money for now. Nothing in the game this early should be too difficult, so good thing is, is we can kind of hold off. And starting today, when you're seeing this video um, early in the, not early in the morning, but in the morning here, we should be on the official schedule, so let me... Before I end the episode, I'll tell you guys the official schedule, just so you guys know. Alright, Coco Buki. Hmm. 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 You have the satisfied look of a mage who has utterly vanquished her foes. Regaza, I formally welcome you into the Brotherhood of Thaumaturges. 
The purpose of this trial was to gauge your capacity for wielding thaumaturgy, an innate quality the limits of which are bound by the level of etheric energy flowing through your physical being. Aether, the very stuff of life, exists within all living creatures to a greater or lesser extent. Remember this, for it is the most basic law of arcane manipulation. Now, I have here a tome that shall serve you as a hum hunting log. As the name suggests, its pages are to be filled with records of the enemies you slay. The log also contains the names of such adversaries that will challenge and improve your skills as a thaumaturge. As your experience grows, so shall your reserves of thaumaturgical endurance. The wellspring of your magical might will also swell in response to moments of extreme terror and duress. When you find yourself seeking greater challenge, when next you crave the thrill of exquisite fear, this is what you shall know the time has come for you to visit me once more. Hmm, 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 hmm. The next Thaumaturge quest will be available from Kokobuki upon reaching level 5. Alright. Using items. More tutorials. Some items can be used granting various effects such as instant HP, restoration, attribute points, and more. Using an item is, an, is as simple as selecting use from the item subcommand. All items with recast timers cannot uh, be used again until the timer is expired. Items you use often can be set to your hotbar uh, for easy access. Thank you, hunting log. The hunting log is a record of your completion of tasks involving the slaying of certain creatures. By completing these tasks, you will earn rewards and unlock new challenges. The log can be accessed via logs found in the main menu. Once the log is open, select a class and difficulty to view the available challenges from the rank. Each challenge is marked with a class name and numbers such as Lancer 01. Below that name and number, you will find the target as well as how many of the target you must defeat. Okay, easy enough. Targets indicated in your hunting log will have a special icon. Easy enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this quest in to Erasmus. The blood, have you brought it? Yes, I have. There you go. Yes, yes, this shall serve nicely. By virtue of your toil, I am one step closer to publishing the mini breasts of Thanalin. Thank you. Take this as recompense. Uh, go now and may the traders smile upon you. Sweet. Can I just take the money? I just want the money. Give me the money. Okay, quest complete. So since it's not going to remind me, just in case I don't play this for a day, or I take a break and come back and can't remember what I was doing, we're gonna walk over, I'm gonna go over the schedule of how things are going to work in a little bit more detail. So I have them on my phone here, so let me let me get this up for you guys. And I'll read, I'll read it off while we're walking back over here. So all of these times are in Eastern Standard Time, uh, so keep that in mind um, and adjust adjust however you need to. Um, if you're not Eastern time. Uh, but at 9 a.m. time slot, this is for ESO and other, um, whatever other could be. I, I don't know what other could actually be, but it's ESO and anything other. So it's simple as that. It's ESO and it's other. Um, at 10 a.m., is Let's Plays, non-NMMO RPGs, that's like Devil May Cry, stuff like that will come out at that point. Um, 11 o'clock is going to be Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, that's when this is going to come out. It's 11 a.m. every day. That's the goal. Obviously, some days might not be able to... Where am I? I'm trying to go to... I'm trying to go to the quicksand. I passed it. Okay. Um, 11 a.m. is this. 8 o'clock p.m. is how-tos. Um, if I don't have a how-to for the day, this will be a witch playthrough video. If I don't have either, obviously, there won't just be anything that day. Um, then at 10 p.m., or at 9 p.m. is the witch slot. That's the Black Desert Online uh, witch spot. And then 10 p.m. is the main sorceress witch playthrough. So let's grab these quests from these people. So is shrinking, is shirking duty and could do with a wake up call? Sure. Hmm, sure darling, you can come for a ride. Huh? Where am I? Who are you? And more importantly, where'd she go? Ah, bugger, did my shift start already? The hell's with it. I'm bleeding exhausted anyway. Mind taking this to Giganasu, the dispatch yard outside the city? He'll probably give you something for your trouble. Okay. 
I should probably accept the quests in here. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to grab this quest as well. Just in case we pass it, we can do stuff with it. Uh, Bottle found himself, or finds himself at a loss of realizing the patch he carries is not his own. Pray, let me catch my br breath. I went all the way to Scorpion Crossing for a package, but only just now realized I returned with the wrong one. The way back is so far. I can't, I can't, simply can't. Would you make the trip back in my stead? I, I'm sure some poor soul at Scorpion Crossing is missing this package. I haven't the breath left to tell you the way. Uh, go and see uh, Mimishu. Okay. Alright, Mamodi. Actually, I'm going to call it here. We'll talk to Mamodi in the next episode to get our quest, and we'll go from there. So I don't know what our next main quest is, but I'm looking forward to it, guys. Already loving this game. The combat's a little bit weird, but I can get used to it, um, and I'm excited to get used to it. But that's going to do it. I will stop rambling. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.